Question 2. How does your media product represent particular social groups? My magazine denotes both challenged and stereotypical representations. My preferred reading, Stuart Hall, 1980, of this media text is an indie pop music magazine. The stereotypical representation of women in an indie genre have connotations such as heavy makeup, alternative and typically dark clothing and will have a sense of rebellion. My magazine both represents and challenges these stereotypes. Walter Lippmann, 1922. And the representation and preferred reading is of the indie subculture. Dick Hepstitch, 1975. I have challenged this slightly because my magazine is also pop, as it is an indie pop hybrid. However, my model does follow some conventions such as dark alternative clothing and dark eye makeup. This is representing my model as an indie pop artist. Because it is stereotypical, it instantly is communicated to the audience as an indie subculture, as it is easily recognisable. This is important because it will appeal to my target audience, which reflects the consumer of the product, as a stereotypical indie pop image will appeal to an indie audience. Indie has a continually expanding audience. And as indie was intended for a niche audience initially, hence the word independent, and were originally from independent companies, this popular style of indie now has its own subculture, Mindy, which stands for mainstream and indie. And I would definitely place my magazine audience in this subculture because of the bands featured and the mise en scene used in my magazine. I used medium close-up of my model so that the clothing she is wearing could be easily seen. However, my image also challenges stereotypes and the conventions of this subculture because in the indie culture, as well as any culture, men are often dominant. Using a woman model, however, contributes to the perception of an ideal self, ideal partner. Carl Rogers, 1980 an ideal self to my female audience and an ideal partner for a male audience, although I am not targeting a male audience. Because my female model Vicky is shown as superior and powerful and also dominant, she will appeal to this audience. This is why she is an ideal self. Although my character Vicky, as well as any indie artist, is not necessarily a good role model for my audience to look up to, it is very common and stereotypical of an indie social group to aspire to be these rebellious and often troubled or depressed artists. As my magazine is also pop, I have kept this stereotypical, rebellious or depressed culture of indies to a minimum, but if I were to focus solely on indie, I would have emphasised this much more in my character of Vicky and in my articles.